Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is a morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday the 6th of December. I'm James Spann. A lot of rain, a huge thermal contrast over Alabama this morning. Um, we're watching that big messy ice storm west of the state and a uh, big Arctic blast for us by the middle of next week. So we've got a lot to talk about today. Let's go in there and begin with the big picture. we like to start with the water vapor satellite view. Kind of gives you an overall idea of what's happening. And uh, that tells the story. Huge cold trough over the west. We have a southwest flow aloft over the edge of that cold air, producing a huge icy, wintry mess from Texas to Ohio. Uh, and look at the contrast in Alabama. We promised this for days, and there you go. We're starting off the day with 30s over northwest Alabama, 70s over east Alabama. Uh, I'm telling you, in the Birmingham metro at 5 o'clock this morning, the front is right on top of the city. Uh, the Birmingham airport is at 72. Some of our western suburbs are in the 40s. There's a 40-degree swing through Birmingham, uh, at, uh, or a 30-degree swing over the Birmingham metro at, at the start of the day today. Uh, but the cold air wins the battle. It's going to just seep southward. If you're warm, you're going to turn cold, uh, but it's going to take a while for it to reach places like Montgomery, Auburn, Opelika, Roanoke. It's going to get there, but it's going to be later today. Uh, and again, back in the core of the cold air, it's just ugly cold. Minus 20s, uh, even a couple of spots uh, reaching minus 30 this morning over Montana. This is big, big time cold for early December. I mean, it's not even close to being winter yet. You know, the, uh, the, the solstice is still, what, a couple of weeks away, two, three weeks away. But the southeast remains warm out ahead of the Arctic boundary. I think this is a good representation of What's going on? These are anomalies uh, to, in the middle of the day today coming off the GFS. And uh, some of these temperatures over Montana are you know, more than 40 to 45 degrees below average for this time of the year. This is brutal cold. And then on the other side of the front, you've got big anomalies of plus 20 over the South Atlantic coast. All right. Now, in the... Uh, in that messy zone there, we've got winter storm warnings all the way from the Texas Hill Country to Ohio. And uh, the, the biggest issues are places like Dallas-Fort Worth and, um, again, over up toward Little Rock and Memphis. The, the ice storm warnings are the darker counties, uh, and that includes Little Rock and Memphis. That's where uh, there could be enough ice accumulation for some uh, uh, power outages. And I'll just show you, this is a shot from dallas this morning, and at number one, you can see the ice accumulation on those rails there. And uh, what you see off in the distance, that is a power flash uh, representing uh, an outage uh, due to the ice load on power lines. You don't like to see those blue power flashes during an ice storm. And uh, this was a shot from Jeff Petrowski of a uh, fire truck that had went off the road. They say He said that this truck had made 30 calls in Greenwood, Arkansas overnight, and they finally went off the road. And it is just a big mess, a skating rink. I mean, nobody wants uh, stuff like that going on. Now, in the warm air, we've got low-end 5% severe weather possibilities today in advance of the Arctic front over parts of east and south Alabama and north Georgia. And like yesterday and last night, this is very marginal, um, but we'll keep an eye on radar. Anytime it's just warm this time of the year, you have to watch. Don't think there'll be a big problem. But, ooh, man, have we got a lot of rain here for the next five days. We are in the bullseye. This is five inches right on top of Birmingham, uh, Tuscaloosa, Gadsden, I-59. And this carries us through the middle part of next week. And, uh, again, we might have to look for some flooding issues before this whole thing winds down Monday night. So, And then the big, big rains will likely come Sunday and Monday uh, with the next wave. And this is the uh, ice... Uh, uh, possibilities today, the risk of getting more than a quarter inch of ice, the high risk is from just north of Memphis up into southwest Kentucky, but the risk extends all the way from southern Arkansas up into uh, Ohio. And we are very thankful all of that is north and west of Alabama. The chance of icing in northwest Alabama is really eased uh, tonight, which is good. Never expected much anyway, but uh, 
it looks pretty good for now. Let's take a look at modeling. This is the GFS, the uh, 06Z run, valid at noon today. This is at 500 millibars. And again, you can see how we've got a southwest flow aloft over the cold air, which is never a good situation. And at uh, midday today, you've got that icing, uh, Dallas and Little Rock, Memphis, Paducah, Evansville, Cincinnati. Snow back in the deeper, colder air, rain down here. Uh, this is the radar grab at 532 this morning. You can see the showers in progress. And, of course, the rain up there in northwest Alabama, that's back in the cold air. It's in the 30s, and it's raining, and it's just miserable. Uh, the showers you see around uh, Gadsden, that's right in advance of the Arctic front. Uh, this is the high-res NAM valid this evening at 6 o'clock, and it's got a lot of rain uh, back in the colder air. Uh, doesn't, looks pretty wet for the Super 6 uh, football games in Tuscaloosa, the high school championship games this afternoon tonight. Cold and wet miserable the, the the blue line up there that's the freeze line and thank goodness it's just out of alabama uh, now this is tonight at midnight the the freeze line is deep into alabama from huntsville down to coleman and uh, eldridge and millport but the bulk of the rain is over at that point so again it looks like the rain will kind of taper off up there as the cold air moves in easing any chance of uh, problems but again keep in mind if there is any light rain or drizzle or if there's some standing water there could be a touch of bridge icing up there just something to be aware of now this is tomorrow we're kind of in between waves uh, this is noon uh, we'll be in the 40s it will be cloudy and uh, we could see some scattered light rain but probably not much tomorrow just cloudy and cold little light rain or drizzle possible but i think a decent chance of the day could be dry this is the uh, same period of the gfs uh, the better chance of any rain on Saturday should be down across the southern half of the state. But Sunday, here comes the next wave, and the rain increases during the day. Uh, and we'll start off cold, but we're going to try and warm up. Again, uh, uh, this is the European. This is actually Sunday night at midnight. You know, the, during the day Sunday, we might have a hard time getting out of the 40s, but Sunday night we could warm up to near 60 maybe. It'd just be one of these odd uh, noses of warm air pushing up in here Sunday night. So just be aware of that. We could see rising temperatures Sunday night. But during the day Sunday, not so sure the cold air gets displaced. Uh, and again, the other issue, we got cold air damming coming in from Georgia. And sometimes the models don't handle that well. So numbers Sunday evening are going to be all over the board. If you're south and east of Birmingham, you could be in the 60s. To the northwest and northeast, you'll probably be in the 40s. And it should be a very wet period, Sunday and Sunday night. And this is Monday. The rain keeps on coming. Monday, just a soaking rain likely. Uh, we'll probably be in the 50s throughout the day. Thank goodness the freeze line stay north of here. And that rain finally tapers off Monday night. And this is Tuesday. Uh, colder air moves in. Uh, highs will drop into the low 40s or so. In fact, this is the uh, European at midday is coming in at 43 for Birmingham, so probably mid-40s now Tuesday. Not as cold as recent runs. We've seen other runs in the 30s. And, and still, the models are not going to handle this cold air very well because it is so shallow. Uh, but clearly, Tuesday will be a cold day, but at least the rain could be moving or should be moving out. And there might be a few snow flurries somewhere Tuesday morning, especially over northwest Alabama, but that should not be a big deal. Uh, Wednesday uh, will be a dry day. Cold morning will be well down in the 20s. Uh, the high Wednesday should be up around 50, and this is Thursday. Uh, we're dry. Good chance we'll see low 50s, and here's Friday. A week from today, we're dry, but rain creeping in uh, from the west. That might set the stage for kind of a wet day that following Saturday, the 14th of December. And this is Sunday, the 15th of December. That looks pretty wet. That weekend could turn out to be pretty wet, and it looks like maybe we'll see more cold air coming in behind that. We'll check the end of the forecast, December 21st, getting close to Christmas. Uh, troughing over the Rockies, a little short wave over the Atlantic coast, and uh, we would be dry and cool, seasonal if that happens to be correct. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock today. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.